Hey guys, what's up? Biggest Daddy is here, just doing a little video, um, just showing you, obviously, I've now got to level 70, as you can see. I have done this a little while ago, um, quite soon, really, I suppose, after the update had happened, but just due to Christmas, and one thing or another, I haven't actually managed to post a video, so I apologise for that, but uh, a little treat for you guys, I think, I'm going to do a little video on my hulk skyline which i believe is one of the best drift cars around it does me proud and there are a couple of videos that i've done obviously using it that does quite happily smash any of the hard scores that you might get on the levels um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly show you a couple of examples of how it just annihilates the hard levels etc and then i'll show you the build and you guys can obviously then enjoy what i enjoy with it because it's just phenomenal i just i've tried other drift cars i've tried bmws i've tried other rear wheel drive cars none of them seem to be quite as uh satisfying as the old skyline so let's have a little look and see what we've got so this is the car in question the nissan skyline GTR V spec 1999. It's uh, one of the first, I suppose, cars I, I ended up saving up for and buying, and absolutely have loved it ever since doing it. So I've uh, coloured it green with a little help from my two boys. They decided they wanted to have a green car, so that's why we've nicknamed it so the Hulk. Um, if we go around, you can have a little look. Um, in fact, I should really change those brake calipers now. They've got the new update, but I just <coughs> can't be bothered um i've got a, a nice body kit on there it just yeah i mean it's one of my favorite cars of all time anyway i remember the first time i think i ever saw it in gran turismo uh all those years ago but anyway um so this is what we're going to be um recreating obviously the visual side of things is, is down to you guys um but before we actually do anything sort of showing you what's what let me just show you what it can actually do out on the real world well, back out the garage and generally what i'll do is um i'll just have a little play i'll just show you here let's have a look at a couple of hard drift courses so we've got jailbreak here um again this is a hard one so we'll use that just to show you now uh, sort of what it's capable of. I mean, generally the hard is meant to be hard, but this this sort of minces them really, and it's not particularly hard. One little tip I would say with all the drift events in general is let the other cars go first because they'll just ram you, and then I know you lose some of the bonus, but it can affect your score obviously if you're hitting walls and whatnot. So here we go, just let them go off. As you can see, sometimes you'll catch them up anyway, can't do much about that. Already just straight into first place. And it's, yeah, getting some nice drift train scores here. Police, doesn't really matter on this particular one. Because, yeah, uh, I'm not pulling over, and so I think my record for this is 246,000, something like that. That doesn't help again when they ram you. Quite annoying. Just get around you, and. Um, float round all round these it's just like you're on ice really it's quite nice Got a two far two thin okay that's no problem what are we are 94 104,000 another daily complete I don't know what I've been doing obviously something good Get out of the way, Beamer. Come on, you are rubbish. Whoa, son. OK, 
Okay, as you can see, we're going around here. Oh, yeah, 144,000. How long have we got left? That light, that blue light, is actually really annoying. Come on, move it or lose it, son. 166,000. So we should get 200,000 on this run easy. 45 seconds left. You can just, yeah, there we go. And then 70, this corner should do it, I think. Oh, oh, 192,000. I sometimes find that on these drift events, they just seem to be able to position cars just in the wrong place on purpose. That should break us 200,000 now. Or second place, got 87,000. I mean, he's miles behind. You go into the back of that lorry. I'm going to go around here. What did I get in that then? 229,000. That's not a bad score at all. I'm happy with that. So, um, as you can see, it just minces the hard, hard levels, really. And I'll, I'll go and find another event just to show you that it can, you know, it's not just that event I'm uh, good at doing. Have I lost the police? Yes. Oh, and I've got another daily complete. All daily complete challenges. Hmm. I don't even know what my daily complete challenges are. Okay, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. But it's all good. I'm happy. So let me go and find the... Okay, so we're going to do a little test run here. Oh, I've been invited to a... What's this one? Stay with the group and earn 65,000. I don't know why I picked this one. Well, the drift score should be quite easy to do. Easy round here. Oh, this guy in front of me is the computer, or well, the, the real life player. Oh, that was a bit crap. Decided to bite back. So, well, hello. Why would you do that? Okay, but I am racing. It's not a race. There we go. So I like these corners. There we go. Mister, I'm just going to ram you. Sixty-five thousand. I've got one hundred twenty-three thousand now. It's a bit of a doddle. Oh, look at that! That was sweet. Absolutely sweet. Oh no! Okay, Fulcrum. That's better. I'll sit with you, police cars. Doesn't really matter about them. Oh, don't touch the wall. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, Murray, blue lights. Oh, it's that poxy lorry that was in the way, man. That's better. 248, 257. I'm in the lead. First place goes to me. Surely I've got to get first place on that. Is it going to tell me? Ah, oh, look at that, first place, you see. Doesn't get much easier than that. And again, I went wrong on a few times, so you can just enjoy using this guy like the Hulk. Just, ah, oh, can't say enough good things about it. So, thank you very much for inviting me, whoever you were. Hope you enjoyed the lesson on how to drift. And that 
is a that. I'll let you all pass me. Cheers, mate. See you later. Okay, so let's go first of all into the performance parts, which is here. Okay, so we've got a cold air take, cold air intake, and the cooling system. Now, some of these I don't, if I remember rightly, it's 903 horsepower. I don't recall having it at full maximum. Um, it's nearly full, but not quite. So as you can see, that one there is obviously the highest one. I, I'm not going to mess about with the settings just because I know this works and I'm happy. I mean, maybe if you add a little bit extra, it might give you a bit more, but it's entirely up to you. But this is how I've just got mine set up. So Intake manifold. Fuel rail kit. Turbocharger Elite. GTC4 that gives it that nice wastegate that <laughs> sound uh, I do enjoy that aftermarket aftermarket wiring multi spark race ignition plug and play ECU elite, tu elite tuning ready built block version 5 aftermarket camshaft elite 2 ported heads uh, ported cylinder heads even race manifold Decatted non resonated exhaust. Why did I choose that one instead of a full race? I don't know. Anyway, clutch. Um, I've done a time refill. Now, again, some people like to use the action refill one, which, you know, I mean, you, you could probably do that with this car as well. Again, that's more personal preference. It doesn't really make any difference. <clears throat> full adjustable suspension. Um, differential I've left as stock and obviously I've got plus drift tyres, I mean I've got the extreme tyres on you know, I, I probably should change that and try that but again this works without having those on so have a go, try it, see what you think and obviously if it works for you as well then that's great, excellent uh, fully adjustable brakes fully adjustable handbrake uh, stock sway bars haven't bothered with those and that's everything that I'm using at the minute um, so if we go back and go to the handling tuning again it's not on full drift um, so if we scroll down rear tyre pressure sort of basically where the drift thing is at the top um, the, the, one of the biggest things I've found when making a drift car is turning the drift stability assist off um, and I think it does mention about doing that uh, early in the game but I, I think it's one of those things I missed first of all and it was just it wasn't drifting you know, it kept on trying to correct itself and it's quite frustrating to be fair but this uh, just having that setting off it just instantly made the car slide around the corners a lot more so yeah make sure that's off um, yeah so downforce is not as high as I need really or not as least less as I need that's fine brake strength tire traction I think again that also helps quite a lot um, so there we go that, that is all my settings um, feel free to have a go and obviously leave a comment let me know what you think and obviously if there's anything that you think I can do better um, with this build again please feel free to leave a comment I'm open to suggestions as I say I've got to level 70 now so I'm happy just to mess about tweak and fine tune these uh, settings but let me know how you get on and uh, so if you like this give me a like and any newcomers subscribe for any more videos like this that's biggest daddy us out until next time